One of the aspects of the New Testament world that has been very important in my own research has been uh, giving attention to the cultural world of the New Testament. I find that my own students, where I teach, uh, find this to open them up to a new way of reading the New Testament that changes their engagement with the biblical text forever. This is because we are all shaped by our culture and we carry with us the presuppositions, the logic, the expectations uh, that have been imprinted upon us since our birth. Now when we bring this to the biblical text, we end up importing upon the text something foreign, and therefore we're likely not to hear it in the way that the author intended. So by focusing on the cultural world, by learning about the kinds of interactions, expectations, and values that really mattered to and that shaped the experience of the New Testament authors and their readers, we have the opportunity to hear their texts and to understand what they're trying to say and do uh, within their audiences, more like natives to that culture itself. In this course, we will cover such central values as honor and shame, patronage, reciprocity as, as the context of grace. We'll think about kinship and the ethos of family that had a profound impact on the kind of community early Christian leaders were seeking to nurture. And we'll also look at purity and pollution, a parts of the ancient world and the Jewish context that may be most foreign to our thinking, and yet still very important on the pages of the New Testament.